So I wanted to start with um, a little bit of uh, introducing yourselves, but based on what obstacles you had to go through. So this is a mini biography of what you had to beat to get to where you are. Um, so I went to school, had absolutely um, no ambition to do anything other than play football. I used to just sit in school and draw football kits and write out my World Eleven. Uh, uh, my mum and dad divorced at 14, I went to live with my grandparents. Um, just because home life just got really bad for me and uh, I didn't want to be there and I didn't want to see my mum and dad arguing and so on and so forth and it wasn't great but it got me off the council estate because my grandparents lived just off, off the council estate I was from um, so I just got off that and it gave me a bit of breathing space in terms to look back and think you know my career choices realistically uh, manual labour which my father was, and uh, get up at six o'clock in the morning, go on the roofs, get home at six o'clock at night, manual labour, which basically led to alcoholism. Uh, the second one was uh, drugs. All my mates started getting into selling drugs, gangs, drugs, uh, either taking or selling, basically, or sport. Um, and I decided sport was the way for me. Um, I used to see my mates drinking and taking or experimenting with drugs. And I thought, no, if I do that, I'm not going to be able to be a footballer. I'm not going to be able to be what I want to be in life. And it was difficult. You know, the easy thing to do would be conform and go and do what all my mates are doing because otherwise they were like, you're weird. I'm like, I'm not weird. I just want to be a footballer. And that was the, f the goal for me. I put my goal there and everything else was, was, was secondary. And